Lauren Witzke. I don't even know where to start with her. She's misogynistic. She's racist. She does not believe in the freedom of religion. She's a conspiracy theorist. She checks all the boxes not to be a public official. Yet, she ran to be a public official. Good thing she lost. If she ever runs again, do not vote for her. Lauren ran for U.S. Senate to represent Delaware in the November 2020 election. She lost to Chris Coons. However, she was able to get 38% of the total votes. For the reasons I'm about to tell you, this is mind-blowing and disheartening. The first item on the list of why Lauren is such an awful person is this post from her personal account in 2016. Drink black coffee at Rick Tyler's Grill today, home of the hashtag Make America White Again billboard. His card though, hashtag what? What the actual f It really doesn't get any more blatant than this. Hashtag make America white again. She's clearly racist. She's holding up a card that says I have a dream and then the White House. She's referring to the make America white again billboard. She's clearly a white supremacist. Obviously. There is no doubt in anyone's mind after seeing this. She's clearly a racist white supremacist. No question about that. If that first item wasn't enough for you, which I don't know how it possibly couldn't be enough to prove that she is an awful, awful person, here's this. She responds to this tweet that was not done in English. It was probably criticizing her. I'm not sure what language the tweet is, and I don't know what it's saying. But she responds with, This is America. We speak English here. Try to have some respect. Are you kidding me, Lauren? For one, there is no official language of the United States. There is none. It is not English. English is not the official language of the United States of America. There is zero official languages for the United States. There's no official language. Two, we have the freedom to speak any language we want. That is guaranteed by the Constitution. You love the Constitution, don't you, Lauren? Because I think you do. You post about it all the time and how your rights are being violated. Well, you know what? Freedom of speech is protected. And this gentleman can speak any language he wants. That is a constitutional right that he has. He can speak any language he wants. He can put any type of language on Twitter that he wants. Apparently, the Constitution is only for you, Lauren. You don't want anyone else to have any freedoms. But you know what, Lauren? That's not how it works. The Constitution works for everyone, not just you. Can Lauren top what she's already done? Yes, she can. She can even do worse. So Pastor Bright and Megazo posts, Do you know Trump's mother and grandfather were immigrants? Those of you who claim you're more Americans than others is laughable. And Lauren responds with, We're sending you back to Africa to practice your witchcraft there. Then, later on, she posts, Voodoo Africans are migrating into America, infiltrating the Christian faith, and establishing churches on the pulpit of abortion and social justice. It's so clever, it could only be demonic. First of all, I want to set this straight that Pastor Bright Amagazo probably is not practicing voodoo, okay? That is, there's no evidence to support that. This man is Christian, and he believes in the Christian God. He just aligns politically different than Lauren does. He is, I believe, uh, very liberal, where Lauren is obviously very conservative. And apparently, in Lauren's mind, it is justified to say that he is practicing voodoo. It's not okay, Lauren. It's not okay to say that this pastor is practicing voodoo. That's not okay. Secondly, even if he is practicing voodoo, which he's not, there's no voodoo, there's no witchcraft, but even if he was, that's protected in the Constitution. He has the same freedom of religion as you do. As long as this pastor is not breaking any other U.S. laws, he can practice all the voodoo and all the witchcraft he wants, and that's protected in the Constitution, Lauren. It's protected. Freedom of religion. You can have any religion you want or no religion, and that's protected in the Constitution. As long as you're not breaking any other U.S. law, it's okay. Freedom of religion, Lauren. Freedom of religion. I didn't even mention the underlying racism here. If this pastor was a white man, would you be saying that he's practicing voodoo and sending him back to Africa? I don't think so, Lauren. I don't think so. 
<laughs> this next post by Lauren is just sad. It just makes me sad. So she posts, Americans built this country, and we don't need to import a third world slave class to make it successful. Lauren, did you take a history class in high school? Do you remember what that class was about? Do you remember anything about American history? The United States of America did import a third world slave class to make it successful. Do you not remember American slavery? It was a real thing, Lauren. It happened. That is exactly what happened. Hundreds of years of slavery. It happened, Lauren. In replying to Beth Moore, I'm not going to read out the original post here, but Lauren says, You're a great example of why women shouldn't be faith leaders. You have zero faith, zero leadership skills, and you're extremely vain. Starting to notice a pattern. Not good. She says, You're a great example of why women shouldn't be faith leaders. Lauren Witzke, you are very, very Christian, and you are trying to become a leader. You are running to be in the Senate, or you were running to be in the Senate. And you're trying to be a leader. And you're a woman. Is that not the best example of hypocrisy there could be? You're a woman, and you're criticizing a woman for being a leader while you're trying to become a leader. Do you not see a problem here? Do not see your own hypocrisy. Hello? I'm not even going to mention all of the other tweets that she has tweeted that are just awful. She, on numerous occasions, has called COVID a hoax. She's been absolutely disgraceful and calling people just awful names. She's been downright rude. She is just really the worst person. And please, 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 if she runs for office again, do not vote for this woman. She is an awful human being, and she is certainly, certainly not deserving of any public office. And lastly, I want to give a huge shout out to Lauren Witzke Parody. It's a parody account on Twitter that has helped me gather some of these screenshots that you've seen in this video. I'll drop a link in the description of this video so you can go and follow that account. It's pretty good. It's criticizes Lauren and reposts all her uh, really, really awful tweets. So if you want to give that account a foul, and remember, do not vote for Lauren Witzke. Never vote for Lauren Witzke. Ever. She's an awful person. Awful.